Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison of Lion Brand's Mandala String and Ice Yarn's Gelato. Let's get started. Here we are, we have colorways from both companies. The far left is Lion Brand Mandala String colorway. Color weight is tuned. All the specs on the mandala is exactly the same. It's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 350 yards, and 320 meters. It says it's a super fine one, but as I said in my review video, it works like a two. It is 100% acrylic. I will tell you, it does not feel like acrylic. It feels like a cotton blend. It calls for a G-hook. It was $6.49 at Hobby Lobby, uh, made in Turkey. So this is the colorway tune, the gelato yarn here. They don't do colors like that. They do like, it says gelato lilac blue gur. So I'm assuming lilac gray. They just say the colors. They don't have a colorway. Gelato, 100 grams, 320 meters, that is the same. This is microfiber acrylic, and it says it's a two. Calls for a three knitting needle, and we always go up with crochet hook, typically anyway. It's made in Turkey as well. Now looking at the colors in the ball, uh, they do appear to be identical. The color patterning, the colors themselves, same, same. Right down to that uh, gray in the brown. Same. Ice yarns, uh, they don't spin theirs as neatly, I guess, as Lion Brand Mandala. Uh, but they also don't have the custom ball band, etc. So I was going to work some of the yarn up to see how it works up, but uh, to me, it's almost an identical match there. Would you know, would you know the difference if you saw them side by side? If they, both of them didn't have a ball bend, would you know? Because I'd have a hard time knowing uh, if they both had not specified what they were. So I'm going to give that a whirl, see what that's like. Ball band on the ice yarns is way tighter. So I I'm, I'm have a feeling that they just packaged the ice yarns tighter. Uh, than the Lion brand. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so hard to see through the camera. it looks like the same yarn it feels the same as well I'm gonna give you a rundown of the colors I have the color numbers from ice yarns and that way you can take a look if you want to go to ice yarns and find out more information they did have a few Colorways that were not in stock, and you can get emailed if you want to know when they come in. The Summertide Shawl colorway was one of them on Ice Yarn's website. So this colorway here, like I said, is Gelato Lilac Blue Gray. It has some cream in there as well. It's got 
turquoise, light and dark. It is, it's beautiful. Color number is 75809 for this one. Okay, so I have them dissected to the point where we have the cream transitioning into the tan, just to see the colorway, if the colorway links are the same. So I'm gonna hold them together here. Start working my way this way. One on the left is turning to the grayish blue. You can see that section there. Oh, yep, and the right one is now as well. So yeah, they are very similar in length. Transitioning over. It does look like the right ones smidge darker so yeah that that solves the colorways they are the same length and then this one is called mixtape this is lion brand and dollar string mixtape this one i i love these colors i have yarns in these colors like by every yarn company, I think, because I, they just speak to me. And this is Ice Yarns. Color is Green Shades. Color number is 75816 for the Ice Yarns Gelato. Again, we're looking at identical colorways to the Mandala. Mandala is spun different. It's spun in more of a I don't know. It's spun in a different way for sure. Wound up in a different way. It makes it feel completely different. The yarns uh in look and in feel. This one feels like it's been sitting out for a while. This one feels like it's been cooped up for a while. So I'm not sure I will work some up, but I'm thinking this might like breathe, bloom, whatever you want to call it. But that one is mixtape. This one is green shades. And then I purchased two that they do not have from Lion Brand. Uh, both have pink in it, which is unusual for me, but hey, I'm unusual. This pink has gray and cream, like a lilac gray, dark rose, shifting to a lighter shade of pink, turning to a lilac and then gray, and then coming around to a cream. I thought it was gorgeous. I still think it's gorgeous. The color they say on Ice Yarns is light lilac, I'm guessing light lilac, light pink. There's an L there, so I'm not sure what they were going for there. Ice Yarns labels their yarn as the colors as they see it. So it is color number 75947. I don't, this just really spoke to me. I love this. But I always have loved pink and gray. Always. Since, I don't know, the 80s, I guess. And then the other color I got was this one that has darker reds, pinks, uh, greens, and a little bit of purple in there. You see that? And its color is light maroon. The color number is 75812 for that one. So I'm going to take some of this yarn. I am going to we'll just work a little bit up with it, see how it feels, see if it changes when I'm working with it, because 
that will be a good indicator of whether it's a really good match to my grand mandala string. At this point, without working it up, I think that it is almost identical. It does seem like mandala string is a little plumper, more plump as far as the yarn goes, but again, it is wound different. So it could be how it's wound gave it more air, more room, more breathing. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you get the picture. Like it, it got worked with more, so it, it bloomed. That's the only way I can put it. And the ice yarns, they pack very, very tightly uh, to ensure that you get the cheapest sh shipping possible. So it calls for a three, so I'm looking for my four hook. What is this? This is a four right here. This is the Wee Crochet hook set that I recently got and reviewed. Really good hooks. I can link that below as well. Well, it would be useful if my hands were in the frame. So I'm going to drop the camera down. Here I was thinking you could see me. You could not see me. Look at that, it's already from here to here, it's starting to shift color already. And it looks like it's going to be a very smooth transition. I do think this yarn is just a tad bit silkier. Maybe a smidge smaller and a tad bit silkier, but overall it'd be tough to tell the difference. It might need to have, uh, I bet if it was washed it would end up the same. Probably lose a little bit of that sheen and plump. Okay, we got a color shift already there. That's really pretty. But tell my light's a different way. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it's just my eyeballs not liking it. Zoom out a smidge. I'm going to bring the other shawl in and see what this looks like side by side. First off, the strand out of the ball versus mandala. Now they are different colors, but this certainly looks a smidge smaller to me. But when you hold it up, it's so slight. It's almost non-detectable when you hold them next to each other. 
Now this shawl has been <laughs> messed around with quite a bit. Moved around, shifted around, I weaved in the ends. Uh, I have not washed it though. So let's just compare the spines or the beginnings with each other. Well, they sure look a lot alike, don't they? So, I don't know. The mandala feels a little less silky to me. You know what? My hands are so dry. It's so hard to know. Back of the hand test. I mean, it's so hard to tell the difference. I don't know. I don't know if they're exactly the same or not. All I know is they're so close that it hurts. Uh, breakdown of cost. So Ice Yarn sends their yarn in packages, packs of four. These are packs of four. Not all yarns are packs of four with Ice Yarns, but these are. So four balls, four balls of yarn with the Ice Yarns is $6.99 for four of them, okay? I got four different packs. So the total for my yarn was $27.96. That's yarn alone, no shipping, $27.96. Shipping was $24.95, because it's coming all the way from Turkey, guys. Uh, if you add the two together, yarn plus shipping, it's $52.91. $52.91 divided by 16, because that's how many balls of yarn I got. Uh, total cost per ball of yarn uh, to order, ship, and get to my house, $3.30 a ball. $3.30 for this. Uh, Mandala. They're $6.49 each at Hobby Lobby. On sale. So over here so you can see my math. 6.49 times 30% is $1.95. So 6.49 minus $1.95 is $4.54. This is $4.54 per ball on sale at Hobby Lobby. I don't know how much it is on Lion Brand. Uh, so it's over a dollar more per ball at Hobby Lobby. There are different colors on Ice Yarn's website, like the pink that you're seeing, and then the darker pink with the green that I was working with. Those two are different. I know for sure that those two are different. Uh, I'd have to look and see what else is different. The only one I remember maybe being different, Mandala from Ice Yarns, meaning that Mandala string had it and Ice Yarns did not, was the gray. It was like a gray and tan, I think, but I'd have to check that. So $3.30 for this or $4.54 on sale for this. The shipping I ordered on August 7th, and I'm in the States. I ordered on August 7th. I got my order on Friday. So I ordered Monday. I got my order Friday. That's almost as fast as I can go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it does not matter to me if you order from Ice Yarns or not. I'm not affiliated or anything. I just thought you'd be interested because I love a good deal and I figured you might too. So Go take a look at their website. You can see for yourself. I can certainly put their website down below for you to go take a look. They have a search bar. You can search for whatever. Search for Gelato, G-E-L-A-T-O, and it will bring up this yarn and you can see all the colorways. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And until next time, guys, bye.